I get it. He's into him. He's into him. He's into him. This is about the seventh hug. And now we're talking about his gorgeous eyes. Clearly, he's into man. Hi people, my name is Nordin. I'm sure a lot of you already know what I do. I work here at Word in the Curb. And today we're filming another episode of Got a Problem. Yes. And I'm here with... Hey, my name is Jamisha. I'm a filmmaker and I run a page called You Look Okay To Me for illness. Hi guys, my name is Martin, aka Viral Vibes, and I'm a social media personality. I like your introduction. Oh, thank you. Hi guys, I'm Miss Dems. I am a celebrity hairstylist. I'm a personality. I'm a YouTuber. I'm a, I'm just a babe. Hi, I'm a queer gem, founder of the British Blacklist and also one quarter of Your Aunties Could Never podcast. Hello, I'm Nana Evans and another quarter of Your Aunties Could Never podcast. Hey, I'm Grace. I'm 21 and I'm a content creator from London. Hi, I'm Laura Gaynor, I'm 23. Hi, my name is Tara. And I'm Adrian. And we are Meet the Thorps, and we are content creators and we are back. Back. On Word on the Curb. Yes. <laughs> By the way, I love, I love it so much. I absolutely love like breaking new sounds. Like it's, it's incredible. Don't you get so excited when you hear bah, 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 bah. like it's sick. But is, it's so is sick. this morning breaking news? No, but it's sick. Like, <laughs> you like the jingle at the I beginning. I just love like when TV shows are so dramatic, like, bah, 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 bah. like it's really not that deep, but bah, 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 bah. I love the bubble bows, man. I love it. A bit stressed or overworked recently, you could invest £75 to enjoy a relaxing professional hug. Treasure Hooten is a cuddling expert and says the specific hugging technique can boost your mood and happiness. <laughs> <laughs> I'd hug you. Wait, what? I'd, 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 I'd a hug but by the hugging expert, what's that? £75. What? For hugs? Well, he looks like a Wolverine. <laughs> mm, I'd hug him, I'd hug him. £75 for a hug? Professional hug. £75 Professional. is like my grocery bill for the week. For a hug? I think, uh, are we in the wrong business? No, because I don't like hugs. Can you give me £75, please? I don't know about him, he's got nice size, but... I don't know. You wouldn't pay 75 pounds? No, not really. Oh, man. I'll only pay a pound for him. <laughs> not 75. <laughs> so he pays. People pay him to hug. Why? I don't know. If I trust you. I want to do a hugging thing, but I'm charging like More. 150. To touch me 24 7. Yeah. Ash. This is a good job. Is it me or why would you want to pay for a hug? Because maybe you you never know, you could be walking down the road, just got some bad news, someone's got a sign saying something. So they just I need comforting, friends, comforting. Family. What if they don't have no friends and family? That's what I'm saying, so. Oh, comforting. Yeah, lonely, yeah. Com yeah, fine. Craig is currently having a go now. Everybody's had a go. Bring it in. And it yeah, is bring Craig's it in, treasure. turn. Look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous. Is it good? Oh, it's gorgeous, yeah, yeah, yeah. 75 oh, pound oh, good? That was, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. there we go. I'm not letting go, I'm there. not letting go. Of Roy. <laughs> Come. List of things you can buy for seventy five pounds. What would you do seventy five pounds? That's you can go on a Ryanair flight. To where? I'm gonna be honest, yeah. I don't like hugs. I really don't like them. So the thought that I would spend my hard and money on a hug, like I love you. Mm. You're my husband. We've been together for nineteen years. Mm -hmm. You're you're the man the to me, yeah. Mm -hmm. But when you're like. Babe, do you want a hug when I'm crying? No, I don't want a hug. <laughs> Just leave me alone. Yeah. I don't want a hug. If you book it decent times, you can go to Morocco for that. You can go to Morocco for that. £75. Nice brunch. <laughs> you, can go, you can go to Sweden. You can go to Amsterdam. <laughs> you can get everything with that. £75, though. I don't know why I went foreign. <laughs> £75. What the... F oh, you get gosh. bodies touching. So I could do this. Okay, so you're in a... You're down. Ooh. And I'm actually, I don't want to minimise or make fun of anyone who's really suffering or lonely. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Because like, I'm speaking in my world, but I have abundance of people to hug. I just want to know the type of people that are paying £75 for a hug. And also the softness of your hair treasure. Don't break it, don't break it, don't break it. <laughs> Bring it in. It's actually, I'm getting this. It's very, it doesn't feel weird to me. No. And I know it doesn't look weird, right? <laughs> you just <laughs> so... <laughs> 
Get a sand. <laughs> you just hold it. I'm not gonna lie to you, like, that is a bit weird. Like, the way he's hugging, it's just like. They might as well pipe. Yeah, 100%. They might as well just shag. Because like, the, the no? leg was up. The nails are painted. <laughs> what the hell? Only has to just turn around. That's it. And in it goes. <laughs> oh, sorry. In it goes. Oh, I'd know that, wouldn't I? <laughs> red flag, red flag. <laughs> I think as a woman, what he's doing is a bit much breast wise. <laughs> it's slightly like it's a inappropriate. Bit, yeah. And I guess we've cut before we can find out more is how long, what do you get that afterwards? You... Because if after I pay £75, what do I get in my care package? I get it. He's into him. He's into him. He's into him. <sighs> this is about the seventh hug. And now we're talking about his gorgeous eyes. Clearly he's into man. That, that hug just looks a bit... It's not special. I don't know if that's a 70... Like, what makes that a 75-pound yeah, like like, hug? Yeah, I don't like, understand. Because I feel like the value of a hug comes from who's hugging you. Well, yeah, what? You know? And he's got a lot of facial hair. Like, no disrespect to the guy, but, like... Yeah, like, maybe if that was my mum hugging me like that, I'd be like, oh, this is a 75-pound hug. But if a stranger <laughs> hugs me like that, it's not the same, because I don't... I am wouldn't be like, why is this man touching me? Um, Treasure. Can you talk? Um, how did you it's become a professional cuddler? How did I become... Um, the, the actual purpose for becoming a Can, Who's this guy in the white? Because he's doing the most. Let the, the man's come on here to promote his business, yeah? yeah? To try and charge £125 an hour for a hug. But this guy here won't even let him do a, have a conversation. Uh -huh. And I recognise the guy in the white. I feel like a re you're a celebrity. A show, so That's you right. so you already have your fame. Let the man get his fame, his little 10 minutes of shine. And he looks mad awkward. Look at his knees. He's had enough. He's had enough. If I say he that, I'll get speak. cramped. He, I bet he wants to get his head and do this back in his neck. Like, shut up, shut, shut your mouth. Professional cuddler is, is, is quite straightforward. Um, there's, it's not a regulated industry, and maybe it should be, and it, it maybe it will eventually. <laughs> but uh, you, take an on, you take a course, you learn about it, and you have some general skills at cuddling, which maybe yeah. you can attest to. Yeah. And then nice. you decide to do it, and you launch a business. Yeah, quick. Let me come and start cuddling people <laughs> <laughs> for a living. Do you hear me? He goes, you take a, you, you was about to say online, online course. You didn't go nowhere to study. <laughs> online course to become a professional hugger. Should we? <laughs> should we hug him? Should we? Oh! <laughs> would, you pay me, would you pay me 75? Yeah, I'll pay you 75. So, I'll, pay, you. I'll pay you, right? Hey, hey, you're not you're able to say, I, I, Hire I, me, I will cuddle <laughs> you. Do you think that he's safer doing this industry than you, I mean, doing this job than you would be though, because oh, he's yeah. a man? Oh, 100%, because it depends, because <laughs> can they control themselves? Will it be just a hug? How long is the hug? That's what I'm sitting here thinking. How long is the hug? Because humans are humans. Like after a while, a hug is gonna turn into something else. I guess there are some lonely people out there, but I don't know, get a free, you know them free hug signs? Why don't yeah. you do that? Go to Trafalgar Square and just hold up. If you really need a hug, you don't have to pay 75 pounds. You can write a sign and then go to Trafalgar yeah. Square. I know we're not getting to the crux of it, but imagine telling your mum like, mum, I'm jacking it all in to be a professional hugger. I, I'm only, doing that with my mum, that I'm setting up the course that he went on for hugging. I'm not going to be the person that paid to go on the course. I'm setting up the course. No, yeah, you, and, but you're saying you're your mum. Yeah, I'm teaching people my how to hug people. I'm doing a What's service to humanity. There are so many lonely people out there. <laughs> they need to be All hugged. I know is that at my big age, oh, I'm a punch in my eye. He's mad uncomfortable. The hugger is uncomfortable right 100%. now because the man's on his neck and he's like, no, this is serious. I take this. Being hugged. And, the, and the guy in the white shirt is like, no, this is a joke thing. 100%. So man's not even respecting his business whilst he's promoting his business. No, this is bad. If it was me, I would have been like, big man, step back. <laughs> <laughs> step back. <laughs> if you want to hug, these are my rates. Also, I want to know who is accrediting his qualification. He said he had to do a course on hugging. <laughs> who is doing a... Where would... <laughs> hey, Google's nuts, you know. You can, get, you can get a degree on Google for anything. That is crazy. Anything. That. That's harassment on live television. Because he's trying to get <laughs> up and he's not letting him. He's like, no, nah, no. Nah, that man go. has been harassed and she's sitting there just watching it. He's that like, man, don't... look, he's in a chokehold. <laughs> Would you even want a hug from him for free? No. <laughs> Me neither. I think, I think he's onto a great hustle. I'm actually it is a, really it's a feeling this. freaking great hustle. It's an easy hustle. Let's hear, let, let, let's hear, like, <laughs> like. You just can't let go, Craig. Yeah, well, I'm just wondering, right? Oh, why? Not, it's just nice. 
So oh. I, if I hug you with my hug, if I'm the giver for a moment, mm. and then you hug me, I want to know the difference between our hugs. You want, you want me to tell you, uh, give you feedback? Yeah, so I'm, yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, hug you, me. so yeah. let's just go, right. hey man, how you doing, want a hug? Yeah, I want okay, I love a hug. Okay, let's do this, okay, see? There's my hug. Yeah, that's strong. Mm. Yeah. Okay, how are you feeling about that? Yeah. That's more than a hug, their genitals are touching. Oh my days, this is so cringe. A job held. My man's <laughs> disrespecting his job profession, he's disrespecting his qualification. He's like, what's the difference between my hug? Yeah, and the guy's like, I feel held. It's almost like people want to go back into the womb. So if they want to be held and then they want your hands to wander. <laughs> no. No, do you know what also I'm hearing? Struggling to find a point, struggling to actually actualize and validate what the hell he's selling. He's struggling. I, 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 I'm not seeing how this, this goes. Because <laughs> I feel like it leads to escorting. <laughs> I just realized something and it's making it make sense. He's American and that is why He's bringing this here. What about him being American? <laughs> the, I know you're American, but <laughs> you know, American people, are, they love gimmicks. They love this type Aww. of thing. So I think I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. And I, so as an American, d is this something that you would see back home? Because I feel like this is just standard American behavior, Maybe in my I'm, opinion. Well, my mom lives in Vegas. Yeah. So yes. They need to just be honest and say that this is a sexual service because I don't understand. If I book an hour long to hug you someone, to hug someone that's not... she's gonna end up getting finger blasted. <laughs> <laughs> she has to. I don't understand. This is mm, not a real career. God, it's not, no. This is, you know what I think has happened? After the pandemic, people don't know what to do with their money anymore. Yeah, it's true. So that's where careers like this have now come out. Oh my God. I'm not dismissing his thing, but come on. £75 pounds an, an hour for, for hug. a hug. <clears throat> for a hug. Are people, do you think people are really that lonely? That they don't have no more time. Some for. people might, yeah, people, there's a lot of people that will actually pay to use that service. Isn't there just something like uncomfortable about this entire thing? Like her Definitely. like commenting on it as well. Definitely. Like it just feels. Definitely. I feel weird. like um, British people are not touchy touchy like that. So I feel like American people no. are more touchy, we're more reserved, you know, you know, you're right, good morning. <laughs> you know, that's it. But in America, when you go to work, they'll even hug you in the morning. But maybe that's TV. That's mad. At These are time. grown people. Grown people. I feel held. I feel secure. What do you mean you feel held and secure? Of course you feel held, you're being held. So you're reading what the other person needs at the time. Yeah, what yeah. kind of hug do you think I need at the moment, would you say? Uh, and, and can you deliver it to me? Uh, we can try, we can feel into it, maybe? Okay, let's feel yeah. into it. He's got gorgeous eyes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what are you, what are you feeling is, is happening here now? I'm feeling some tension. So yeah. maybe I'd want to relax a little bit. Okay. Are you liking that? Are you liking that? <laughs> I'm surprising myself, Josie, I won't lie to you. So if I was to book an hour long session with you, I'm so sorry, but who is this white, the, the white guy? Who is this guy in the white t-shirt? Why is he taking Josie's job? Like, you're not, you're, you're a guest, my guy. You're not even, oh, is he a presenter on the show? Oh, snap. He's a presenter on the show. So still he's just annoying doing though. Too much. He's still he's doing just, too he's much. He's doing way too much. Just be quiet. Sit down. If I would have the money, I would um, pay. Yeah, I would pay for someone to hug me. Really? It's got to be fit down. It's got to be that show. Or like, it's got to be show. It's got to be Kate. Short. Yeah, I love short boy. <laughs> if I was to book an hour-long session with you, a treasure. I, I mean, what would that entail? Yeah. May, may, I, may I look at you while I talk to you? Gosh, sorry. He, he's talking yeah, you all to himself here, Craig. Have you ever had a hug that's felt inappropriate? Yes, <laughs> I, obviously, but yeah. Yeah, Explain when they it. linger, it's that body to body and you can feel them pressing on your breast or there's a really? lingering a groin, arm. And yeah. then a groin, groin comes forward. Yes, yeah, and presses, <laughs> that's gross. <laughs> or when they try and go lower on your lower and, back. Or rub your back, that's that is, gross. Yeah, that, <laughs> and that dude kind of did that to that man. So, yeah. It's no. all gross. Doesn't even. I don't think the hugger feels comfy. He said. <laughs> Relinquish me. He said, can I just face you real quick? <laughs> nah. Nah. Look at, look at the fear of God on his face right now. He's like, big man, step back. Step back. Would you not be uncomfortable? What would you do if this was you? Sorry to cut. What oh. would you do if you was the hugger if and I this... If I had the hugger, yeah. if I had the hugger, I'd give him the first hug and yeah. then he'd have to charge me for the second. So how'd you say it to him? What would you say? I'd give him a tap like that, sorry. It's not that. You, you, you give him the eyes. <laughs> don't, don't do that again. 
Hey guys, I'm Miss Stems. I'm your boy Martin. And if you want to get involved with working with Word on the Curb, if you want to make some money doing some surveys, some research work, guys, click on the link below. Join the Curb community now, guys. What are you waiting for, pipes? Do it! Do it now! A, a session begins with us getting to know each other a little bit uh, in a in a non-contact environment, just so we can go over the rules of engagement, the, our communication, our consent um, practices. And then after that, it's kind of whatever you would like. So some people want long, extended David, holds. our research oh, hey. come for a hug. I did, oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, David's look at that. Oh, he needs a look at his eyes, yeah. he's into it. <laughs> he's really into it. Do, do people ever get it wrong, though? Do they think it's sexual? <sighs> I mean, mm -hmm. yes, and, and I totally understand why they, they think that, and it's okay. Um, but uh, but it's not. Do you truly believe that he can do this completely platonically without it being sexual or it escalating? What do you think? <laughs> no, but I don't trust men. What about you? <laughs> Neither do I. But yeah. maybe he's he could be asexual. So he's just he he's be. not attracted to anyone. He could just do it. But it's like, come on, if we have got to be realistic the intentions of the people that are going. If you're, um, you're, you're scheduling one hour hugging session, mm. realistically, do you know what I mean? What do you think is gonna happen? But maybe he knows something we don't. If he's going on TV though, and he's becoming like more public about this, yeah. if he had private clients, that would be... The thing is, he probably does, like he's just not saying it. And uh, you, gotta, you gotta relax into How'd it. How do you feel, Joe? Yeah, slightly awkward. <laughs> yeah. How tall, Joe? How tall? Nice though. Yeah, yeah. Do you feel more nice. relaxed? <laughs> She's no, no, she didn't even say yeah, I feel relaxed, so people will sign up and pay the seventy-five pound. I'm sorry to keep pausing. They are doing oh, nothing for his business. Man. How are you feeling, woman? <laughs> this is her. Quite awkward. Do you feel better now? Silence. No. I wonder why, like, someone will resort to a stranger before going to mum, dad, if not mum, dad, siblings, if not that boyfriend, if not that ex, if not girlfriend, cousin, mm -hmm. even friend for a hug. You would rather pay £75 for a stranger to come and hug you for an hour than reaching out to one person. Like, do you know one person right now that you could get a hug from? Like, you in your family. Like yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. So I'm trying to get understand why someone will pay for her. Do you reckon he ran them a long invoice after filming? Like, a long <laughs> invoice. Said, like, I hugged X, I hugged Y, <laughs> I hugged Z. This cost this much, this much, this much, this much. Because that's his craft. Do you know what? Hats but, off to him, you know. That's a... You, do you know... Do you think he's making money? Do you think he's making a bag from the hugging? Or do you think that this was the promo? This is the promo. Like, because sure. also, why did... What is this segment? After the pandemic and stuff like that. I could totally understand why there would be a need for this. Mm. For me, you're like, um, go to your mom, dad, brother, sister. I'm an only child and my parents mm. live across an ocean. Mm. This isn't something that interests me, but a lot of it is because I'm scared. Mm. Like, I definitely, uh, I feel kind of weird saying this on camera. Like, I definitely do like miss like hugging people and yeah. I'm really scared to be vulnerable in that way. Mm. Tracy, do people like come for a weekly hug with you or how, how does it work? Uh, I, I, so I, I will say I just launched my personal business three months ago, so I haven't yet <laughs> developed a recurring clientele, Thank but you. I'm very open to, to people doing that. Uh, weekly, monthly. Of course you haven't developed recurring clientele because who's paying for, for this hug? Exactly. So. This is, yeah. I don't even want to insult the poor man. I understand. Mm. I like his, you know, he's business minded. He's trying to do well for himself. We've all got bills to pay, but this is ridiculous. I'm going to pay him for the team. I'm going to pay him £75 and I'll give him. You're going to pay him £75? I'm going to do it. Let me know how it goes. I will. <laughs> no. So, no, allow it. Three months. <laughs> he's, he's, this is great advertising. And he, I, hold on, wait, wait. agent is I've amazing. I've been running the British Blacks for 10 years. I ain't never been on this couch. <laughs> Man, talk about hugs. I, I, I help the black community. Nah, What nah. you need to be doing this is morning, hugging the black community. To, right? This morning, I've got a problem with you. <laughs> do hugs. I hug the black community through my media platform. And the aunties hug as well. What word on the curb. Have you lot been on, have word on the curb been on this morning? <laughs> you bring words from the curb to the curb, from the curb. And no one's been on this morning. And a man talking about three months and I'm hugging people. Like, I'm so angry, I'm sorry. What do you think of his uh, little, little hustle there? Well, don't don't minimise what he does. You said his little hustle. It's his hustle, it's his job. Mm -hmm. I respect it because if you're hustling, you do anything you need to do to make money. He's hustle, yeah, yeah, and no, yeah, in terms of like, yeah, he's he's thinking of a different way of making money, but like, no, in terms of like, it's a hug, babe. Do you know what I mean? Like, 
hugs should come free. Yeah. You know, like, hello. And they do say the best things in life are free. I, I, there's no, unless his body has some form of like heat radiation where it goes hot then cold. Hot, <laughs> you know what I mean? It provides some form of sensation. <laughs> I don't understand what. <laughs> Why is your heart better than my sister's? Exactly. I think I have to. I have to rate the audacity to charge for hugs, £75 mm. an hour. I have to. I think I have to. I hope it works out for him because he said he started out, so I don't know, but I have to rate the audacity to charge £75 for a hug. That no, was interesting. That's not, that's not good enough. I've never seen anything like that. I thought I'd seen all of the hustles out there. That was an interesting no, one. I've seen on the street, like, you people know, doing 50 like, for a hug or come oh, and get okay. a hug on. You know those street people that do it? Yeah. It's been a thing. But he's a liar. And what's his qualification? Has he done a site? He did he... a course. <laughs> <laughs> he went to hugging school. So what kind of hustles were you doing? When you were well, you about? know what hustles I was doing because we were doing it together. No, so what are they? Um, I would sell SIM cards. SIM cards? Yes. I sold SIM cards. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's out? as far as I will go, because I don't want no law running after me. But I sell some gods. Mm, mad. Mm -hmm. What about what about your your hustle? What side hustle did you have? I had a few. I remember in um... primary school selling donuts and drink. Yeah, because I remember seeing you in Junction all the time with the biscuits <laughs> yeah. in your blazer. Get me. As I open at six o'clock, mm -hmm. go there get the little wafers, mm -hmm. the little skips and prawn cocktails. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shot that in school. Panda pops. What was your profit? It depends. Sometimes about seven pounds a day. In third grade, I made like duct tape bracelets. You remember when that tsunami in Japan happened? Yeah. I, I raised a hundred dollars selling one dollar duct tape bracelets. Oh, That's wow. kind of it. What about you? I mean, I feel like there's a culture in this country of selling in school. So I used to sell in school, sell sweets and Lucas and stuff. <laughs> I love until that. I got robbed. I got robbed and then I stopped. You got robbed? Yeah, man, I got robbed. And Wait, no, tell me that off. story. How'd you get robbed? Um, what did I do? I was so dumb. Like, I don't even know what I used to be doing in the playground, but I needed to take my jacket off to freely be selling my stuff. So I, I put my jacket down and no, I gave it to someone and they gave it back to me and my money wasn't in it. And all the money that I had made from the selling was in there. So then that just, the business fell down, collapsed, we had to liquidate it. I used to sell like Snickers. Oh my God, what a secondary school. A secondary school. In a little bag. Thank you. I like them dice. Oh, babe. Lucas dice, yo, look. The whole <laughs> Mentos, chewing gum. <laughs> I even used to sell one pound per gum. <laughs> because no one told you not to be organized and bring gum to class. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It was taking apart the family chandelier and selling the crystals. As diamonds. Yeah, selling the crystals at school for 50p each. That's and so my mum went to put it up at Christmas and there was like five crystals left. But she admired my hustle. So when I was in school, I sold loom bands. <laughs> I was selling them like it was going out of style, selling all the loom bands. And then also once, when I was like 14, I worked for a fire shop, a fire workshop for a day. But like I handed out, like it was really weird. Me and my friend, like we went, when I was young, I was obsessed with making money. Do you have any hustles or side jobs that you do now? I do hair when I don't have nails. I do a bit of editing and then just agency work. I sell, I sell trainers, I resell, I resell things. Wait, no, no, bro, what? bro. What is your main hustle right now? You said little hustles. No, it? I didn't say little hustle. I said, what's your, what is your hustle? What is your job, sir? <laughs> that's not a hustle. That's, no, that is a hustle. Hustle is making money, oh. period. Well, now I'm a content creator. Oh, are you? The same content creator you didn't want to be at the beginning and said no. Yeah. Oh, mad. And now you're paying bills with it, mm. renting them things. Mm. So your hustle is meet the thorps, hundred mm. percent. Our hustle is meet the thorps. I've got a few hustles to be. Okay. I've got a few. My nan taught me how to knit, um, but it was all boring stuff. Like, cause my nan is not teaching me how to crochet a bra. Then went on YouTube and then saw you can make these bralette tops that all the festival girls are wearing. So uh. I started crocheting them and sold them to a couple of people at uni. Uh, in terms of like side hustles, it would be things like taking surveys, um, I get uh, you get a lot of those if you're Gen Z, like yeah. to be able to give insights and do stuff like that. You get paid from them. Yeah, the ones that I do, I get paid, and I'm on panels and stuff as well. Mm. Um, and I also have like a side job doing consultancy for behavioral psychology. How do you think society views hustle, like hustle culture, hustling? I think society at large or com into community. You know, like on social media, there's this crazy thing like everybody should have multiple streams of income. That is. But is that always seen as a hustle? Is it always like have, I don't know, I think there's two different, or there's different cultures that 
celebrate the hustle. I think we definitely as black folk mm -hmm. really, you know, generalizing, but I think we understand hustle culture because it's like a survival of the fittest, a struggle culture, like trying to survive and knowing that the mainstream isn't for us. So how are we going to side, side step it and just make our own way in our, without having to deal with racism and avoiding racism at all costs okay. and making money oh, yeah. at all costs. I feel, I feel like in London especially, there's so much pressure on um, what do you do as a job? What do you do for work? What do you do for money? Yeah. There's a lot of pressure on that. So sometimes even you think when you're doing a hobby, it's like, oh, it's just wasting time, I should be making money. Yeah, yeah, it's hard, yeah. I think it's hard. I feel like a side hustle is really important to have one. I think it's really important to have a side hustle. It's always good, good to have different forms of income coming in. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think it's very important. I just feel like, but then I think it, it depends on what side hustle it is. So do you know any people doing surveys right now? Because I'm trying to make some money myself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, actually, word on the curb. Uh, I know that they have a really good community of people who do research and surveys and they'll, they'll pay you for it too. So it's a good okay. opportunity for you or really anyone watching to get involved with something like that. Like sometimes I think we have so much pressure on productivity mm -hmm. and making money and doing stuff that makes us money. And it's hard out here as well. Um, so sometimes something that you enjoy, you think, oh, I can make money off of this and then you do it. But then sometimes that takes the love out of the hobby itself. Yeah. It's tricky. I feel if anyone can make money legally, do it. Yeah. Do it, do it, do it. Uh, there's enough money to be made out there. So, in obviously, we've seen there's a hugger culture now. So, recently, someone who I'm around quite a lot literally just the other day was like, Oh, yeah, I have to go. And this whole time, we didn't know. Wow. And it was like, wow. and, but it only came up because they heard me talking about like this shoot and stuff. And then they were like, oh, you guys do know how to go so. And it was like, oh, wow, like, we didn't know that. So it, uh, it, it goes to show what you were saying about a lot of people do have it, but a lot of people just don't talk about it. 